In the annals of India's diplomatic history, there are a few names who don't get the attention they deserve. MC Chagla is one such figure. During his life, Chagla wore a number of different hats. He was Chief Justice of the Bombay High Court, Ambassador to the United States, Minister for Education, and finally, India's External Affairs Minister. So who was MC Chagla? And why was he one of India's most interesting diplomats? Chagla was born in Bombay in 1900 to a Gujarati Ismaili family. After a lonely childhood where he lost his mother at the age of five, Chagla went off to the University of Oxford to study modern history. His batchmates included KPS Menon, India's future foreign secretary and ambassador to the Soviet Union. After four years in England, he came home. And part of what makes Chagla so interesting was that he began practicing law at Bombay High Court as a junior of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. At the time, Jinnah was seen as a passionate advocate of Indian nationalism, who opposed divisive communal politics. What attracted me to Jinnah was the force of his personality, and more than that, his sterling nationalism and patriotism. If at that time anyone had told me that Jinnah would one day be responsible for the partition of our country, I would have thought him mad. Chagla says in his autobiography, Roses in December. For a while, Chagla was an active member of the Muslim League, and even managed Jinnah's election campaigns in Bombay. However, Chagla left the Muslim League as he opposed Jinnah's idea of partition and the creation of Pakistan. After 19 years as a lawyer, he became a judge of the Bombay High Court in 1941. In 1946, Chagla was sent to the United Nations as part of an Indian delegation to fight against the South African government's policy of apartheid and racial discrimination against Indians living in the country. During his first spell as a diplomat, Chagla convinced member countries of the UN that South Africa's discrimination against Indian migrants wasn't just a domestic affair, and that South Africa had to respect their rights under the UN Charter. The UN General Assembly backed India's view with a two-thirds majority, which represented a major diplomatic victory for India at the time. When India became independent in 1947, Chagla became Chief Justice of the Bombay High Court. In that role, he investigated independent India's first major corruption scandal the LIC Mundra case, which led to the resignation of Union Finance Minister T.T. Krishnamachari. In 1958, Nehru asked Chagla to become ambassador to the United States. This was the beginning of Chagla's diplomatic innings, and it was a particularly challenging task given that Chagla had to handle ties with the Eisenhower administration, which had made Pakistan a military partner in 1954. He worked to repair trust between India and the United States, and also opposed American military aid to Pakistan. He was also able to build a close relationship with the Kennedy administration, which wanted closer ties with India. In 1961, he went to London as India's High Commissioner to the United Kingdom. And there, he worked to secure military aid for India in 1962, when war broke out between India and China. He returned to India and then began his journey as a politician. He joined Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru's cabinet in 1963, despite never having been a member of the Congress party. Despite this, Nehru pushed for his inclusion in the cabinet. And after three years as education minister, Chagla took office as India's foreign minister under Indira Gandhi. The highlight of his tenure was the 1967 Arab Israeli war. Amid intense criticism, Chagla opposed Israel launching a preemptive war against Arab powers. He also criticized Israel for its military strikes, which killed 14 Indians who were part of a UN force sent to maintain peace and stability in the Middle East. Chagla resigned from Indira Gandhi's cabinet in 1967 in protest over her government's language policy. However, that still wasn't the end of his political career. Chagra was pulled back into politics when Indira Gandhi declared the emergency in 1975. He was an active opponent to the suspension of civil liberties, despite having been a cabinet minister in Gandhi's government. In order to topple the Indira-led Congress government, Chagra backed the Janata Party in the 1977 general elections. After this success, Chagra, who had served as a union cabinet minister under Nehru and Indira Gandhi, was the chief guest at the Bharatiya Janata Party's inaugural conference in 1980. After a few quiet years practicing the law, Chagla passed away in 1981. Lawyer, diplomat and politician, MC Chagla remains one of independent India's most fascinating public figures.